it's just unbelievable. If there was a case for the death penalty, it was it was this one. Like, how is this allowed? How is this something that you just he just? Mm. It really came down to a specific jury that you know he was mentally ill, and she didn't believe because he was mentally ill he should get the death penalty. This morning, families of the lives lost on February 14th, 2018, left feeling they were cheated out of receiving justice. Members of the jury also feeling uneasy about the final verdict, and our prosecutors say that a possible crime may have been committed in the jury room. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn is live from the Broward County Courthouse with this new discovery. Jacqueline? Yeah, and they filed a motion late yesterday to find out more of these details. But what is the impact potentially if there's a crime or some kind of wrongdoing? We're expecting to find out later today with that motion hearing at 1.30 this afternoon. But our Peter Dench, uh, Dench spoke with a jury foreman who said the majority or jury wanted the death penalty. He said it really came down to a specific juror that the shooter was mentally ill, she said, and uh, she didn't believe because of that he should have gotten the death penalty. So it's unclear if this was was related to the juror who wrote to the judge saying she fulfilled her oath and did not make up her mind before the trial. But the note did not mention any threats, only saying it was very tense. However, in the filing for the motion, it does make a mention of threats. Now, we talked with Craig Torchino with the University of Miami's Innocence Clinic about what we can see out of this motion today. A unique jurors don't usually write uh, judges in this regard. Not terribly surprising. Jury deliberations here would have probably been contentious. It may not be an impact at all. Um, I think we just need to wait and see exactly what the allegations are. And we may hear more about those allegations at that hearing today. Again, that it is 1.30. We expect to be there. We'll bring you the very latest for now. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS News This Morning.